Ron has been doing some pretty amazing stuff with social media. He's a very thorough kind of a guy. If, uh, if you saw his step-by-step -step, uh, procedure for what um, he's laid out for the Impact Boot Camp coming up uh, next week, uh, as a matter of fact, um, a day, I mean a week from today, I'll be seeing uh, most all of you. And we'll be starting on a brand new adventure. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but it'll be an adventure for sure. And uh, Ron's going to be a big part of that. He's going to help you figure out things that we need to do in advance of getting uh, to the event and then uh, things that we're going to do when we get there live at the event. Then what we're going to do in the month or so between uh, the two events and then uh, what we're going to do while we're actually there in uh, front of 2,000 people or so at Brendan uh, Burchard's event. So this is a, a really massive kind of a month-long effort that we're going to go through, and we're going to spend some time, and it's just going to build, build, and build. It starts with this small group of people. We just kind of added a few other people uh, with our blog post today, uh, which if you haven't seen, is should be at theimpactfactor.com forward slash blog. And basically what I, I did was to start involving the people that are coming in part of this team effort. And this really is a team effort. Everybody that's coming to the event is a volunteer, and they've all got homework. <laughs> like just... Uh, you, you don't have to feel alone. You got a little bit of a head start, a day's head start on, on everybody else, but everybody that's coming to, uh, the Impact, uh, boot camp has homework, and one of, part of that homework is to go through and do, uh, some of the work that, um, Ron has outlined for us. We want to get ready to really generate some massive social media buzz. Uh, if you can imagine, you know, there have been a group of us that have just been doing some stuff on Twitter and talking about what's going on at the Impact Boot Camp. We can already start to feel the, the motion behind that. But then imagine what happens when you get a 100 or so people uh, live in Philadelphia, and they're doing those kinds of things. So from uh, a group of maybe 10 or 15 people that are kind of actively involved in doing stuff, it goes uh it goes to a larger and larger group, and we're reaching out to more and more communities. And then eventually, we should have thousands of people. And if you can imagine what can be done with five people, you can imagine what can be done with thousands of people. So uh, Dr. Ron's job is to build this all along. We're doing a lot of exciting things right live at the event, and you can uh, be a part of some of those things. You can help to facilitate facilitate those things, you can line those things up yourself. You know, we all know somebody who uh, either has a list or has an audience that they're tapped into. Uh, Dr. Ron is, is uh, tapping into his group, and they're doing live broadcasts uh, from uh, the Impact Boot Camp in Philadelphia, uh, and lots of you can do those kinds of things. You can also get interviewed uh, live on other people's uh, lists, you know, people who have communities where they run regular teleseminar series and those kinds of things, you can actually do those kinds of activities live from the Impact Boot Camp. That will certainly build the buzz. Uh, just the aspect of having things like Twitter accounts and then uh, making Twitter posts and those types of activities will also generate a lot of buzz, too. Um, at recent events that I've been to, you know, even starting with uh, JV Alert Live in Philadelphia, you know, I got back from that event and uh, everybody was saying you were all over Twitter, you know, because people were talking uh, so much on Twitter about what was going on at the event. We had panelists that were up there Twittering <laughs> while they were on the panel. So um, it generated a lot of interest just around those events. But this is going to be an orchestrated attempt to be able to do that. Now, I'm encouraging people to bring their tools to the event. So if you've got a laptop, bring your laptop. If you've got video cameras, bring your video cameras, your digital cameras, your audio recorders. If you've got anything that you can bring to, to uh, 
you know, do your own videotaping. If you've got green screens or you've got lighting equipment, uh, you know, bring your tapes and supplies, your microphones, everything that you can possibly think, your list of contacts, uh, and certainly a list of all these social media accounts that you're going to be setting up as you get, get to working with Ron, because we're going to be utilizing those things live at the event, and we want you to be prepared to do that. 